What are the top five handguns of 2017? We'll stick around and we'll show you. Hey guys, Trey here at Ghost Tactical to go over the top five handguns of 2017. Now this is not my personal list of my favorite handguns of 2017. That's going to be on a different video. But what this is going to be is a top five selling handguns of 2017. If you're in the market for a new handgun or a first handgun, this might help you. Okay guys, let's get started. The number five on the list is actually a tie with two guns and the first gun of the tie is the uh, Keltec PMR-30. Uh, the Keltec PMR-30 is a, um, it's actually a 22 Magnum pistol uh, with 30 round capacity. Uh, there is a manual thumb safety that is ambidextrous, so it can be used for a left-handed or right-handed shooter, which is always nice. Uh, the, the trigger pull is, is, they say it's five pounds, but I've also heard it's it maybe closer to four and a half, so it's somewhere between four and a half and five pound trigger pull. Uh, the slide and the barrel are steel, and the frame itself is aluminum. Uh, the grip and the slide cover, the trigger, uh, the safety levers, and, and all that are, are, are nylon, which is very standard for most of the other Keltec uh, guns that you might have had or seen. The MSRP for the Keltec PMR30 uh, on the website says it's 459, but uh, you can get them on different places for as low as about 375 to 399. So I would say around $399 would be a very fair uh, market price for it. So once again, guys, uh, coming in as a tie for the fifth place for 2017 is a Keltec PMR30. The second gun that tied for fifth place in 2017 was probably the most talked about gun of 2017. It's had uh, its ups and downs. It's been a strange year for it, uh, both good and bad. But it is the uh, Sig Sauer P320. Uh, so let's kind of go over some of the specs. Uh, there are four different models uh, to the P320 and four different caliber options. So basically there is a size and a caliber for everyone. Uh, the four different models are the full size, the carry, the compact, and the subcompact. And the calibers that it's offered in are the 9mm Luger, the 357 Sig, the 40 Smith & Wesson, and the 45 ACP. So no matter uh, what type of gun you like or what caliber you like, there is an option in the P320 for everyone. As far as the barrel lengths go, um, obviously with the different models we'll have different sizes, but in the, uh, the full size, the barrel length is 4.7 inches. In the carry and the compact models, they're both 3.9 inches, and the subcompact is 3.6 inches. With obviously the different models, the, the round capacities are going to change from model to model as well. Uh, for the full size and the carry model, uh, the capacity for a 9mm is 17 rounds. The 357 SIG and 40 Smith are 14 rounds, and the 45 ACP is 10 rounds. In the compact model, the 9mm capacity is 15 rounds, the 357 SIG and 40 Smith are 13 rounds, and the 45 ACP is 9 rounds. In the subcompact, the subcompact uh, comes with the uh, capacity of 12 rounds for the 9mm and 10 rounds for the 40 Smith and 6 rounds for the 45 ACP. The trigger pull for the SIG P320 is about five and a half pounds. Uh, the suggested MSRP ranges, depending on the model, anywhere from 700 to 1,000. But uh, most of the time, they go out um, out the door somewhere between five and 700 dollars. So uh, they are pretty affordable guns, considering what you're getting. It's a SIG Sauer. Uh, it's a very versatile gun, and like I said, it has it has had its ups and downs throughout the year, but overall, the SIG P320 is a remarkable gun with uh, a lot of different uh, ways that it can be customized and uh, configured to fit just about anybody's needs. 
Number four on our list comes um, a variation of one of the most popular guns that's ever been made. Uh, it's the Glock 19, but this is the Gen 5. The Gen 5 was released this year with a lot of mixed reviews, depending upon what you like. Uh, myself, I like the Gen 3 model, and so the uh, the different things that came with the Gen 5, I was not as enthusiastic about as others. Uh, on the flip side, there were a lot of people that were very happy with the Gen 5. So uh, let's kind of get into it a little bit and see what's out there. Uh, the Gen 5 does offer over 20 uh, design modifications from its Gen 4 predecessor. Uh, that includes the uh, Glock Marksman barrel, an ambidextrous slide stop lever. Uh, the biggest thing that I think people were talking about was that the grip has uh, no finger grooves. So if you if you didn't like the finger grooves from previous, previous generations of Glock, the, uh, the Gen 5 might be for you because there are no finger grooves in the uh, grip itself. As far as the specs go, it, it, is, a, uh, it is chambered in uh, the 9mm round. The barrel length is uh, a little over 4 inches, so it's right 4.01 inches. Uh, unloaded, it comes out to about 23.5 ounces. Uh, loaded, it comes in just over uh, 30 ounces. The trigger pull is uh, five and a half pounds. It does come standard with a 15 round magazine, but you can obviously get uh, different capacity magazines as well. The MSRP on the Glock 19 Gen 5, anywhere from 699 to 949, but most of the time you can get them anywhere from 599 to 699, uh, pretty much everywhere. So it's a great gun for the price. So guys, the, the Glock 19 Gen 5, uh, like I said, it was a highly anticipated gun, and I don't think it disappointed at all. It uh, for those of you that did not like the uh, the uh, grooves, the finger grooves, and the grip, then this might be the Glock for you. So uh, number four comes in with a Glock 19 Gen 5. Next up on the list at number three is not a new gun by any. Uh, standards but uh, it's still a great selling gun it was introduced in uh, 2011 but it still sells great especially in the concealed carry uh, realm of the gun community and it is the Sig Sauer P938 um, it is a subcompact single action uh, pistol chambered for uh, nine millimeter the P938 is really uh, a subcompact single action pistol chambered in nine millimeter uh, it was, like I said, it was introduced in 2011, but it's still a big high, high seller, especially in the concealed carry realm. It's, uh, it's a little bit larger version of their P238, which is their, their 380 pistol. Um, it comes in a lot of different variants in the grip with uh, different types of wood, or you can get it with the Hogue rubber grip or whatever you want. Um, it does come with a uh, seven and a half to eight pound trigger pull, uh, depending upon the model. Um, the 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 frame is metal, which is a little bit different than a lot of the subcompact nines out there. Uh, the frame is uh, aluminum alloy, and the slide is stainless steel. Um, as far as the capacity goes, it comes with a magazine that's, that 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 seats flush with six rounds. Uh, while you can get the seven round magazine, it's got a little finger extension. Uh, they they all come with the uh, an ambidextrous safety, so that's really good. Once again, if you are worried about being left-handed, it does come with a, an ambidextrous safety. Um, as far as the length go, the barrel length is uh, three inches. Um, the overall length is about six inches, um, and the weight unloaded obviously is about sixteen ounces. Uh, we did talk earlier about the 9mm caliber. They do have the Target model, which uh, d is chambered in 22 lr For those of you who are looking for a subcompact 22 lr uh, carry gun, they do offer it in the Target model. Uh, the, the basic MSRP goes anywhere from about 700 to 900 depending upon which model and which uh, which grip material you have but most of the time you can get them anywhere from 650 to 700 um, 
at some different stores and online and all that so you're not gonna have to go spend a whole lot of money and for the price it's obviously a very uh, good selling gun it's been around since 2011 and is still number three on the list in 2017 coming in at number two is uh, widely considered one of the best and most popular concealed carry guns in the world it, it is my uh, personal choice for my everyday carry it is the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield 9 uh, this gun has been around for a while and it is a great great gun they did uh, unleash the 2.0 but uh, overall the MMP Shield 9 is um, a phenomenal phenomenal uh, concealed carry gun for everyday carry it is a polymer frame gun with the uh, slide and barrel in stainless steel. Uh, there is a, uh, a thumb safety that's available on it. A lot of people don't like thumb safeties, but for those of you that are looking for a great carry gun with a, uh, a manual thumb safety, the uh, MMP Shield 9 does come with the thumb safety. It is available in 9mm and 40 Smith & Wesson. The barrel length is 3.1 inches, um, which is very, very small. The um, overall length is 6.1 inches. Uh, the capacity is e either comes with a flush 7 plus 1 uh, mag, or you can get the extended 8 plus 1. And the weight unloaded is about 21 ounces. Um, the MSRP out there usually sells for $449. Most of the time, you can get them anywhere from about $349 to $400, uh, $350 to $400. And actually, I have seen some places that are carrying them at around $300 now. Uh, so it is a great gun, especially for the price. Um, and my opinion, it is uh, one of the greatest uh, concealed carry guns that have ever come out and it's obviously my choice for EDC but it's a very very popular gun for the size the comfort the weight and everything that goes along with it so uh, the number two gun is the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9 all right guys and coming in at number one is the best-selling handgun in 2017 is the Ruger LCP uh, the Ruger LCP was introduced in 2008, um, and it was created basically because uh, a lot of people were wanting a little backup gun or a very small uh, concealed carry gun. Um, and this has been uh, at the top of the list or near the top of the list since, it's, uh, since it came out in 2008. It is chambered in 380. Uh, the capacity is uh, 6 plus 1. You can get uh, um, an extended 7 plus 1 mag out there. And there might be other mags out there that are uh, aftermarket stuff. But uh, I know you can get a 6 plus 1 or a 7 plus 1 with a little finger extension. The grip is a, a glass-filled nylon. And the barrel and the slide are, are steel. Uh, the barrel length is only 2.75 inches. Um, the overall length is just over five inches the weight obviously unloaded is 9.6 ounces so it's very very small and it's um, it's it's very very lightweight the uh, the original LCP the trigger pull is about six and a half pounds on the new LCP 2 that has come out uh, it's about five to five and a half pounds so uh, there is a uh, LCP 2 model out there but as far as a best-selling gun, it is the original LCP. And uh, the MSRP is about $299 on these. But uh, I've seen them go for um, less than $200. You can usually get them from about $179 to about $249. Um, and it's a great price for a little $380 if you want to use it for your primary EDC or just a little backup gun. Uh, the Ruger LCP is a great gun, and it is obviously the number one selling gun of 2017. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the, the list of the best selling guns of 2017. I hope this list has helped you uh, maybe in your next gun purchase, or if you're looking to purchase your first gun, maybe this will help you as well. 
I really want to thank everybody for your continued support and watching and commenting and liking all of the stuff that we've put out this year. Uh, 2017 has been a great year for us. Obviously, we started uh, about six months ago, so it's been a phenomenal six months for Ghost Tactical, and I really do appreciate everyone's support and continue uh, watching and liking and comment. Uh, please comment on, on any of the guns that you might have bought in 2017, and let's see what else is out there. But, uh, guys, I look forward to 2018 and see what the best guns in 2018 are. But thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, Simplify. Hey, guys, Ghost here. Just want to say thank you for watching this video and your continued support of the channel. Please check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us, to see all of our ventures, including Patreon. We also invite you to check out gunchannels.com. Once again, thank you for your support. Until next time. Simplify.